In this video, I'll show you how to connect a CAT cable to a TS-870 in Interface log for ohm using OmniRig. These instructions could apply to many other rigs, as well as with OmniRig, you could interface other software such as SDR software. First, you'll need an RS-232DB9 to USB cable. Make sure it has the FTDI chipset or it will not work. The only one I could find at the time had a mail in, but I'll show you how to make it work with the mail port on the Kenwood. Next, you'll need an RS-232 DB9 female to female gender changer. I have put links for both the cable and gender changer I used in the description below. So the only cable I could find that has the proper chipset has a mail end and the radio has a mail end. So to fix this, I use a mini gender changer. But one of the issues with it is the nuts on the end do not allow it to plug into the radio. What I have found is if you remove the two nuts while holding it firmly like this to keep it from falling apart, you end up with the bolts so you can insert it into the radio and then start your bolts and go ahead and tighten those down with a screwdriver. You don't have to crank them down, just a little snug. And then our cable will insert and we can tighten down the cable. And there we have it. One of the easiest ways to interface software to a radio is to use OmniRig. For this application, I used OmniRig 1.20. In a browser, go to dxatlas.com slash OmniRig. Scroll down and click Downloads. Then scroll down and click OmniRig. Choose where to save and click Save. Now extract the folder and run the OmniRig setup. Once finished with the setup, open OmniRig. On the Rig 1 tab, under Rig Type, select your radio and enter the settings for it. You can find them online or in the manual. For this example, I will use the TS-870. Select the port. You can find this in the Device Manager. Set baud rate to 9600. You may need to set this on the TS-870 as well. Refer to the manual. Then set data bits 8, parity none, stop bits 1, RTS high, DTR high, pull int 500, and timeout 4000. Click OK. Now in log for ohm, go to settings, program configuration. Under hardware configuration, click on CAT interface. For CAT engine, select OmniRig and check CAT Auto Start. Click Save and Apply. Now when you change frequency on the TS-870, it changes in log for ohm. Also, when you double click on a station in the cluster, it will change the frequency on the TS-870. If this video helped, consider giving it a like. And as always, thanks for watching.